guys, my name's Craig from Magic TV. It's nine o'clock, it's a Thursday, it's time for a magic stuff. Now today I'm gonna to be presenting another one of the three best trick series. And this is going to be three tricks to open your card set that you've probably never seen before. Three tricks that you're gonna to use to open your card set that you've probably never seen before. Now these three routines are absolutely incredible. They are all routines that I have used all of the time in my professional act. And I think it's very important if you're gonna use playing cards, you do something really unique and really different with them at the very beginning. And the reason is, if you do just, if you're gonna be doing a lot of card material, right? And there's nothing wrong with doing a lot of card material, but if you're gonna do a lot of card material and you just pull out a deck of cards and you go, hey, pick a card, any card, most people are gonna say, well, I've seen that one before. Now there's a very good chance they haven't seen it before, there's a very good chance that I haven't seen it before because you know how many card tricks are there in the world. But that's what most people think. They, they, they think that you're probably gonna deal three piles of seven cards and, and, and go into the 21 card trick or do something um, that they've seen before. So you wanna try and really kind of grab their attention. And so these three routines are designed to grab their attention and show people that you're not just a, uh, a typical card magician, but you're somebody uh, who really is going to impress them. What you're trying to do is you're trying to establish credibility. And the way to establish credibility is by showing them something quick, something visual, something different, as opposed to just spending five minutes setting up a card routine. So that's why this series is so important. That's why this particular video is so important. And I want you to let me know in the comments down below, have you ever had that where you go up to a group of people, you pull out a pack of cards, you go pick a card and they go, oh, I've already seen that one. Because if you have, then this video is gonna help you. And this is probably gonna be the first of a series of videos because there are so many different ways that you can open up your card set. And they're all good and they're all great. And um, you know they all work and there's so many different ones. I had to just uh, bring it down to three for this particular video, but there's so much more that you can do. So let's have a look at the first trick that you've probably never seen before um, that allows you to open up your card set in a very magical way. So the first routine that we're gonna be talking about is Modern Times by Henry Evans. Now, everybody knows that watches this channel. I am a big Henry Evans fan. I've done uh, uh, videos in the past examining Henry Evans' best routines. Uh, but uh, Modern Times, which is the trick that we're talking about right now, Modern Times, for me, is an absolute classic Henry Evans trick. I remember the first time I saw Henry do it, it was on his first L&L DVD set, and I was absolutely blown away. It was one of those moments where I was watching it and I was like, I really want to learn how to do this trick. This is an incredible trick. I really need to learn how to do it. And I did learn how to do it, and it's you can learn it by watching Henry's DVD set, or you can learn it by, um, uh, by, by buying it directly. He does now sell it as a standalone item, which makes it a lot easier to buy. Uh, but from, as an opener, oh my gosh, it's so incredible. So let me show you the routine first of all. I'm going to perform it for you. And then once I've performed it, we'll talk about why it's so good. So Sarah, I'm going to show you something with this deck of cards, yeah? Watch this. One, two, three. I can actually make the card box vanish. You're probably wondering, where does it gone? Well, it's gone into my pocket, which is pretty impressive. But uh, quick observation test. What are the color of the cards? Blue. Until I snap and then I end up with a red deck of cards and I'm ready to go into my favorite card trick. So, I mean, how visual is that? You literally, 20 seconds into the routine, you've done some incredible magic. Think about that. You bring out a deck of cards, you immediately make the card box disappear. The card box jumps into your pocket, you hand it out so that people can see it's a normal card box, and then boom, the entire color of the deck changes as well. I've done this on TikTok, and I've done this on sort of YouTube shorts, and had insane reactions to it, especially on TikTok. Um, the nice thing is it's very easy to do. It's two custom-made flat cards, um, and that's it. So ugh, how easy is that? I mean, it is so incredibly easy to do. You just literally walk over to a table. You've got the deck of cards in your hand. Now, I've shown this to people in the past, and they've said to me, oh, oh you know, are people going to buy into the fact that that's a cased deck of cards? They're going to buy into the fact that that's a tuck case? And my answer is very simply, 
Yes, because they don't know what's going to be happening, right? They've never probably seen magic live before. You just walked over and interrupted them and said, hey, I want to show you some magic. They look down, they see a card case. That's what they see. That's what they assume it is. Um, there is no issue there. Trust me, do not run if you're not being chased. But you, you say, hey, I'm going to show you something with a deck of cards. And within one second, the card box completely disappears and you spread it through the cards and show that the cards have gone. Blue deck of cards, card box goes. You reach into your pocket and you bring out the blue deck of card box and give it to them. Just there, if that was just the moment of magic at that point right there, this would still make the list because that is such an incredible vantage of a card case. But now you're going to hit them with a super color changing deck because now you say, well, let's see if we can go one step further. What color is the deck? And they say blue because they see the blue card case. They see the blue deck of cards and you go, boom, no, red. And you spread it out and it's a red deck of cards. Oh my gosh, right? How good is that? Uh, it's, it's really, really strong. And what's nice is you're left with a regular pack of cards with two gimmicked cards. And what I typically do when I do this is I say, you know, let's do something else now. Actually, let me just take out the jokers. And I take out the jokers and put them in my pocket. I'm actually taking out the gimmicks. And now I'm left with a regular deck of cards. And the reset, I just have to take the two gimmicks out put them back into the cart, put them back onto the uh, onto the pack of cards, and I'm ready for the next table. So it's an almost instant reset. Everything is examinable. There's no setup really to speak of. It's not very difficult at all. The angles are great. It's super visual. I mean, what's not to love about this? You get, Nobody will turn around to you and say, well, you know, I've seen my grandpa doing magic like that before. Nobody will say that after doing this as an opening. Absolutely not. So that's your first routine, Modern Times by Henry Evans. I'd be interested to know who does that routine. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you already do Modern Times by Henry Evans? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. That's the first routine we're going to be looking at. Now let's go into routine number two. The second routine I want to talk to you about is Freedom Pack by Justin Miller. If you don't know who Justin Miller is, I've interviewed him on the channel. You can check it out in the Talk Magic playlist. He was one of the first interviews on this channel. Justin Miller, JM, is absolutely amazing. He's a creative force. He's very much like Marmite. Some people love him. Some people hate him. Whether you love him or hate him, you cannot deny the talent that this guy has for creating magic. When it comes to sleight of hand, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to pretty much anything... He's right at the top of his game. And this is perfect JM thinking. This got released a few years ago now. Uh, and Justin Miller looks very young on the download. If you go back and re-watch it like I did. But um, he, he does look very, very young. Um, however, uh, you know, it's, it's just as good now as it was back then. It got re-released a few years ago by Paul Harris as a set with Freedom Pack and also Warp One. So if you're looking to get it, look at that, you know, type in Freedom Pack and you'll see like a joint thing that you can get, which is a great way to do it because then, you know, you're getting two tricks for the price of one, but I'm talking about Freedom Pack today. Now what Freedom Pack is, and I do it very, very differently to Justin, and I'm not saying my way is better by any stretch of the imagination. I do it my way just because it works better for me. Uh, just the way I do it. But it's it's completely up to you. Justin's way is absolutely brilliant. But through performing it throughout the years, the way that I do it works better for me. And I'll tell you why. Uh, but first of all, let me do a performance of the Freedom Pack for you. So let me give you a very quick performance of Freedom Pack. And then we'll talk about the differences and what makes this routine so good. So watch the, uh, watch the deck of cards say. I'm going to take this card right here, the Six of Clubs. I want to watch and don't blink for a second. I'm going to pop that Six of Clubs away into the middle of the deck. All I have to do is snap my fingers, and when I do, that six comes straight to the top of the pack. Now, that's pretty impressive, but that's not real magic. Real magic is wondering how I was able to even do that when the cards have been inside the box from the entire beginning. So that's my way of presenting it. And what I do when I present it, I walk over to the group with the deck of cards in my hand and I, I do a very quick ambitious card sequence with one phase and then I have the deck go into the box. And I do the deck going into the box very different to Justin as well. I kind of just turn the deck over and as I do, the card box reappears and then I take the cards out of the case and I go into my next routine. When Justin does this, uh, he does a completely different thing. And he talks on the download for this project about the importance of when you're doing Freedom Pack, having the deck of cards out 
and, and having them shuffled by the spectator and doing something before you go into this routine. And I kind of, under, well, no, I don't. I don't kind of understand. I totally understand where Justin's coming from and I get his thinking completely. My point of view is I tend to do this as a very quick opening bang. So before they realise what's going on, the deck has appeared around the case. A little bit like with modern times, right? Um, but, but if you're wanting to build this into, the, into a longer routine, what Justin does with it is brilliant. So what he does is he does it in the middle of a card routine. So he's had the cards shuffled. He's maybe done two or three routines. And he says, well, let me do one more thing. And he has someone pick a card. He has them sign it. He loses the card into the middle of the deck and boom, it comes to the top, the signed card. He then puts it into the middle of the deck again and it comes to the top of the deck. He then says, I can't understand how this is happening because the case has been in the box the whole time. And then boom, the case appears. He takes the cards back out and he goes back into his ambitious card routine. So he uses it as a very specific moment of strange in a longer routine while I use it as an opening routine. The other thing to consider is I do a very different appearance of the card box. Arguably, mine isn't better than Justin's by any stretch of the imagination, but it worked better for me. It's more surefire for me. Now, I've watched Justin do the change that he does 50, 60, 70 times. He nails it every single time perfectly. I can't do that. I've tried, I've practiced. Uh, so I tend to do it with this rolling method, which works better for me, but it's, it's completely up to you. Justin's way of doing it is great. He basically just has the deck of cards there. He snaps, and as he does... The card box just appears around the card case. Sorry, the card box appears around the cards. It's great. Um, and if you can do that, that's great. It's not difficult. I've seen lots of other people that can do it. I just seem to have a mental blank, blank when it comes to doing this particular slide. I end up with cards going everywhere. It's not me. Sorry, it's not Justin. It's not Freedom Pack. It's me. But I still wanted to perform the routine, which is why I kind of developed a slightly different handling, which might not be as visual, but damn, it works just as well for a general public. So, so there you go. The way I do it, and, and going back to the way I just showed you how I do it, what I love about it is it really establishes credibility right at the very start of a card set. So, uh, you know, you've got the deck of cards here. They can see there's a deck of cards here. The card goes in the middle, it comes to the top, and then boom, the, cards, the card case reappears around the deck. And you take the cards out. And what I've done is I've used a Greg Wilson idea. I didn't have it with me when I shot that, so I wanted to shoot it because I wanted this video to go up, but I'll tell you what I normally do. I use a Greg Wilson idea of having an expanded card box. So I have a slightly bigger card box than a normal card box uh, that I just made out of two card boxes. And, and what I do is I take the cards out the case. I put the case away. I go into the one phase where the card goes into the middle and it comes to the top, and then the case comes back. And then I take the case out and I put it away again and I go into my routine. Um, so, which is combining a Greg Wilson idea with the Freedom Pack by Justin Miller. Either way, it's an incredible routine. It's very, very easy to do. As I say, I've got a mental blank with the way that Justin makes the card case appear. But like I say, that's not Justin. That's not Freedom Pack. That's me. Um, but, you know, I've seen, like I say, I've seen lots of people do it and do it really well. Uh, but there's no angle issues really to consider. Um, the card case, when the cards come back, when the card case comes back around the cards, the card case can't be examined, but nobody really wants to examine the card case at that point. You take the cards out and you give them the cards to be shuffled. That's where they want to focus for some reason. You just put the card case away again. So really that's not an issue, I'll be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whole purpose of me putting this video together was to showcase card routines that you can do that really establish credibility. And by God, that is one that works and works really, really well. So it's called Freedom Pack. You can get it directly from Justin Miller or from all good magic dealers. The final routine I want to talk to you about today, I've already mentioned on this channel before, uh, when I did the Henry Evans 5x5 special, I actually performed this. Uh, in fact, I've mentioned it twice on this channel. I included it in the best openers of all time. I also included it in uh, the Henry Evans special. But the reason is, I do this routine all of the time. You know, if the purpose of these videos is for me highlighting routines that you've never seen before that are effective when you're actually out there performing, then, you know, I think it's important for me to go back and showcase routines for you that are really effective at putting that across. And in this case, when it comes to establishing credibility at the beginning of a card routine in a very practical and organic way, 
This is incredible. And I'm talking, of course, about Henry Evans' um, uh, 3D advertising, which is the whole concept of showing a catalogue um, with various different cards displayed in it, packs of cards displayed in it, snapping your fingers and having a deck of cards just appear from out of that catalogue. It's that strong. What I'm describing is exactly what happens. Um, I use this to open a card set in my virtual show. I use it when I'm doing mix and mingle. I use it on stage. I use this all of the time. I cannot think of a better way to make a pack of cards appear. And I know lots of other ways of making packs of cards appear, but none of them are as practical as this. This is so super practical. So let's have a look at performance of this routine now so you can see the sort of thing that it looks like and I'll talk about why this is so good. Have we got Tim? We wonder, is that Tim? You look very excited, Tim. Can we unmute? Tim, how are you doing? Are you okay? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Did you like my trick, Tim? It was fantastic. And it all goes downhill from there, to be honest, but I'm glad you liked it. So happy birthday, Tim. How does it feel to be 21? Uh, yeah, superb. The same as it did last time. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> awesome stuff. Well, I want to say thanks so much for coming out and spending your birthday with us. I really appreciate it, my friend. And um, I'd like you to help with a very quick trick, if that's okay, Tim. Would that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. And, and it uses a pack of playing cards. Now, every single magic show has to have at least one card trick. Because if we don't do at least one card trick, what will happen is magic will suddenly start getting popular and everyone will do it. So we have to do at least one card trick, Tim. And I have the card trick here. Now, being a magician, I actually have hundreds of packs of cards. And this is where I get them from. This is a catalog for the Bicycle Playing Card Company. It's based in Cincinnati, Ohio. You can get loads of different cards. You see the mini deck in the middle there, Tim? You get red decks, you get blue decks. You can also get this deck here, the black deck. You see the black deck and the green deck, Tim? That's it, yeah. Uh, normally you have to go to the shops and buy them, but obviously being a magician, I think I can do this by magic. Watch the blue deck, that's my favorite. I can do this. I can make the blue deck real, Tim, look at that. Right off the catalog. It's, a, it's almost like magic, isn't it, Tim? It's almost, almost like magic, but that, that is not even the trick. That's me just getting a pack of cards, Tim. This is the trick. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna show you. So that was the routine. Like I say, it is incredible. Um, there's other routines that that make a deck of cards appear as well. I mean, sudden deck three is amazing. However, from an angles point of view and a practicality point of view, I don't think anything beats 3D advertising. I just have it in my inside jacket pocket. When I want to do the routine, I reach in, I show it. I can show it apparently both sides and make the cards appear. I can give that out and have them look at it. I can open up the card box. The card box is examinable. The cards are examinable. I can go into my favorite routine. There is literally no downside to this routine. It is brilliant. Uh, it, it, is it an instant reset? No, but it probably takes about 15 seconds to reset, if that. The key thing for me is everything is examinable, the angles are great, and it takes up hardly any pocket space, and it's built to last a long time. Um, I've talked about it before, I will continue to talk about it on this channel again. 3D advertising is incredible. Let me know down below in the comments if you perform 3D advertising. And if you do, let me know what the reactions are like that you get when you perform it in your show. So there you go, guys. That's another magic stuff in the bag, as Riley would say. Do me a favor and let me know down below in the comments what you think about this selection of routines. Would you agree? Would you disagree? And if you disagree, what would you include? As I say, I am going to be doing future videos on other routines that you can use to open up your card set. Uh, because there's so many different things that you can do. But let me know down in the comments down below what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below, and I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another uh, video. I'm going to be back with a magic rant at nine o'clock, a shorts at, at two o'clock, and a magic live at six o'clock. I'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Hey.